क्वेश्चन नंबर 201 अंडर विच प्रोविजन ऑफ द सीपीसी अ हाई कोर्ट कैन ट्रांसफर एनी केस हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज सेक्शन 24 क्वेश्चन नंबर 202 द जनरल पावर टू ट्रांसफर सूट्स अंडर सेक्शन 24 हैज बीन ग्रांटेड टू हाई कोर्ट डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट बोथ ए एंड बी सुप्रीम कोर्ट करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज बोथ ए एंड बी हाई कोर्ट एंड डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू Which of the following power is not granted to the High Court under Section 24 of the Code of Civil Procedure 1908? Option A: Power to transfer a suit from a court which has no jurisdiction to try it. Power to transfer a suit pending before it for trial to any court subordinate to it and competent to try. C: Power to withdraw any suit pending in subordinate court and try the same. Fourth: Power to transfer a suit pending before it for trial to other court. In question number 203, correct answer is option D. That is, power to transfer a suit pending before it for trial to other High Court. क्वेश्चन नंबर 204 अंडर व्हिच प्रोविजन ऑफ सीपीसी अ सुप्रीम कोर्ट कैन ट्रांसफर केस हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज सेक्शन 25 ऑफ सीपीसी क्वेश्चन नंबर 205 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कोर्ट हैज द पावर टू कन्फर एन अपील अंडर सेक्शन 25 ऑफ द कोड ऑफ सिविल प्रोसीजर 1908 ऑप्शन ए कोर्ट ऑफ स्मॉल कॉजेस ऑप्शन बी सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑप्शन सी हाई कोर्ट एंड ऑप्शन डी डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज सुप्रीम कोर्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर 206 Section 25 of the CPC provides for which of the following? Option A power of the Supreme Court to transfer suits, option B power of High Court to transfer suits, option C power of district courts to transfer suits and option D power of commissioner to transfer suits. Correct answer here is option A. That is power of Supreme Court to transfer suits. Question number 207. By whom can the transfer of suit or proceeding from one state to other state may be ordered? Option A central government, option B Supreme Court, option C High Court and option D parliament. Here correct answer is option B that is Supreme Court. Question number 208 A person against whom summons has been issued may be compelled under section 32 of CPC to attend by option A issue of a warrant option second attachment and sale of his property third imposing a fine ordering him to furnish security of his appearance. Select the correct answer with the help of the code option A first and fourth second three and four C 1 2 3 and 4 and D 2 and 4. In question number 208 correct answer is option C that is 1 2 3 and 4 that is issue of a warrant under section 32 of CPC issue of a warrant attachment and sale of his property imposing a fine ordering him to furnish security of his appearance question number 209 which one of the following penalty cannot be imposed by the court to compel the attendance of any person to whom summons has been issued under section 30 of the code of civil procedure 1908 correct answer here is option D that is impose a fine upon him exceeding 5000 rupees question number 210 the court may compel the attendance of any person to whom a summons has been issued under section 32 cpc and for the purpose may impose a fine upon him not exceeding option a 5000 option b 1000 1000 option c 3000 and option d 5000 here correct answer is option d that is 5000 question number 211 Which of the following is not provided as a penalty for compelling attendance of a person against whose summons has been issued under section 32 of the CPC? Option A imposing a fine not exceeding rupees 20000 is the correct answer. Question number 212 Under section 32 of CPC to compel the attendance of a person to whom a summons has been issued under section 30 of CPC the court is empowered to issue a warrant for his arrest attach and sell his property impose a fine not exceeding rupees 5000 either A B or C. Here correct answer is option D that is either A B or C. Question number 213 Provision of interest in CPC has been made under section 32 34 35 35A 35B. Here correct answer is option B that is under section 34. Question number 214 Under section 34 of the CPC court can award interest from the date of the decree to the date of payment or such date as the court thinks fit. rate of such interest shall not exceed rupees per annum 9% 10% 6% 12% correct answer is option c that is 6% question number 215 when a decree is silent as regards as future interest option a further interest shall be deemed to have been refused and a separate suit shall lie for the same option b further interest shall be deemed to have been refused and a separate suit shall not lie for the same option c only a is correct and option d none of the above Here correct answer is option B that is further interest of suit shall be deemed to have been refused and separate suit shall not lie for the same question number 216 
the expression each party shall bear his own cost implies that both the parties are deprived of cost question number 217 under the cpc for the first time provision for compensatory cost in respect of a false or vexatious claims or defenses has been made under correct answer here is option c that is section 35 a of cpc question number 218 compensatory cost can be imposed option a if the claim for defense is false or vexatious and subsequently disallowed or withdrawn option second if the objection to the false or vexatious claim or defense has been taken by the party at the earliest opportunity and option c both a and b are correct here correct answer is option c that is both a and b are correct question number 219 compensatory cost under section 35a of cpc can be imposed to the extent of rupees 3000 here correct answer is option a only that is rupees 3000 question number 220 Which one of the following order is appealable? Option A order under section 35, order under section 35A, order under section 35B, order under section 90. Here correct answer is option B that is order under section 35A is appealable. Question number 221. In CPC section 35B is added by the Amendment Act 1976 for the provision of compensatory cost cost for causing delay general cost miscellaneous cost. Correct answer here is option B that is cost for causing delay. Question number 222 Cost imposed under section 35B of CPC shall be included in the cost awarded in the decree passed in the suit shall not be included in the cost awarded in the decree passed in the suit option C shall if not paid be executable against the person on whom the cost have been imposed and option D only B and C here correct answer is option D that is only B and C that is shall not included in the cost awarded in the decree passed in the suit and C shall if not paid be executable against the person on whom the cost have been imposed question number 223 the principles governing the execution of decree and orders in cpc are dealt with in correct answer here is option a that is section 362 section 74 substantive law and order 21 procedural provisions question number 224 the expression court which passed a decree is defined under which of the following sections of the code Here correct answer is option C that is section 37. Question number 225. A decree may be executed under CPC by collector sub collector tehsildar the court which passed the decree. Here correct answer is option D that is the court which passed the decree. Question number 226. A decree may be executed by district judge commissioners court which has passed the decree either by the court which has passed the decree or to which the decree is sent for execution. In question number 226 correct answer is option D that is either by the court which has passed the decree or to which the decree is sent for the execution. Question number 227 the application is placed before the following court for the execution of decree before district court before that court which has passed the decree before that court where the defendant is residing temporarily under local jurisdiction before that court where the execution property is available under local jurisdiction here correct answer is option B that is before the court which has passed the decree. Question number 228 A decree for execution cannot be sent to a foreign court court outside India established by the authority of central government both A and B neither A or B In question number 228 correct answer is option A only that is foreign court Question number 229 The application for execution of decree may be transferred from one court to another court if the party feels that there is possibility of delay in justice on the part of the court If the defendant lives or does business in the jurisdiction of that court where the application for execution of decree have to transfer see if the plaintiff has gone from the jurisdiction of the court which has passed the decree and not included in these here in question number 229 correct answer here is option B that is if the defendant lives or does business in the jurisdiction of the that court where application for execution of decree have to transfer question number 230 court not competent to execute the decree court which has passed the decree is competent court to which it is sent for execution is also competent both a and b the uh, and d court of collector here in this question it has been asked court not competent to execute a decree option d here is the right answer that is court of collector question number 231 which of the following statement is not true option a the court which passed the decree may execute it against the property outside the local limits of jurisdiction option b a decree may be executed by the court which passed it And option C a decree may be executed by the court to which it is sent for execution and option D the court which passed the decree may of its own motion send it for execution to any subordinate court of competent jurisdiction here in question number 231 correct answer is option A 
This statement is not correct. That's why option A will be the right answer. And the other remaining options are right. Question number 232. Provisions of section 39 of CPC are permissive and not mandatory. Option A, A here is the right answer. Question number 233. Where a decree is to be sent in a court in another state for execution, it has to be sent by. Correct answer is option C, the court which passed the decree. Question number 234. Which of the following statement is correct? Option A, the court which passed the decree may transfer its to another competent court if the judgment debtor carries on business within, within the jurisdiction of the latter court. Judgment debtor has no property within the jurisdiction of the former court sufficient to satisfy such degree but has the property within the jurisdiction of the latter court. Decree directs the sale of immovable property situated outside the local jurisdiction of the former court and all of these. Here in question number 234, correct answer is option D, that is all of these. Question number 235, a court to which decree has been transferred for execution cannot while executing order attachment, execute a decree against a legal representative of the deceased judgment debtor, send the off decree for execution to another court, order execution at the instance of the transferee of the decree. Here in this question, which has it has been asked, a court which decree has been transferred to execution cannot while execute, executing. Here option D is the right answer. Question number 236. The words competent jurisdiction under section 39 of CPC refers to pecuniary and territorial jurisdiction of the transferee court. Option C is the right answer. Question number 237. Which of the following person may not file an application for execution under CPC? Here correct answer is option D. That is judgment debtor. Whereas a decree holder can file legal representative if the decree holder is dead can also file application for execution and also the person claiming under decree holder will file the application for execution under CPC. Whereas judgment debtor will not file for the application for execution. Question number 238. Provisions relating to precept is provided in civil procedure code under section 40, section 44a, section 45, section 46. Correct answer here is option D that is section 46. Question number 239. Precept means command, order, writ, all of the above. Correct answer here is option B, that is order. Question number 240. As per section 46 of the Code of Civil Procedure 1908, the precept means an order issued by the court which passed the decree and addressed to dash. The district collector to effect partition of the property, another court to arrest judgment debtor, the other court to attach the property of the judgment debtor specified in the precept, the revenue court to sell the property attached by the court. In question number 240, the correct answer is option C. That is, the other court to attach the property of the judgment debtor specified in the precept. Question number 241. An order or direction given by the court which passed the decree to a court which would be competent to execute the decree to attach any property belonging to the judgment debtor is called Option first, precept, option B, garnishy order, option C, interlocutory order, and option D, simultaneous execution. And question number 241, correct answer is option A, that is precept. Question number 242, which of the following court may issue precept? Only district court, only high court, the court in whose jurisdiction the property is situated, the court passing the decree. Correct answer is option D, that is the court passing the decree. Question number 243. Precepts are issued under section 46 of CPC for serving summons on persons residing beyond local jurisdiction, serving a warrant on the judgment debtor, attaching the property of the judgment debtor, none of the above. Here correct answer is option C, that is attaching the property of the judgment debtor. Question number 244. Which provision deals with the determination question relating to discharge, satisfaction, etc. of decree? Here correct answer is option C, that is section 47 of the Civil Procedure Code. Question number 245. Under section 47 of the CPC, which question does not relate to the execution of the discharge or satisfaction? Whether the decree is executable, whether the property is liable to be sold in execution of a decree, whether the decree is fully satisfied, whether the decree is fraudulent or collusive. Here option D does not relate to the execution, discharge or satisfaction of decree under section 47. Therefore, it will be the right answer. Question number 246. An executing court cannot determine the questions relating to which of the following. Execution of decree, discharge of decree, satisfaction of decree, modification of decree. Correct answer here is option D, that is modification of decree. Question number 247. Questions can be determined by the court executing the decrees relating to execution alone, relating to discharge alone, relating to part payment alone, relating to execution, discharge or satisfaction. Correct answer here is option D, that is relating to execution, discharge or satisfaction. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 248 ड्यूरिंग प्रोसीडिंग्स फॉर एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ अ डिग्री इफ अ क्वेश्चन अराइजेस एज टू वेदर एनी पर्सन इज और इज नॉट द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ अ पार्टी सच क्वेश्चन शैल बी डिटरमिनेड बाय ऑप्शन ए द कोर्ट व्हिच पास द डिग्री ऑप्शन बी द कोर्ट व्हिच एग्जीक्यूटिंग द डिग्री ऑप्शन सी द अपीलेट कोर्ट एंड ऑप्शन डी अ सेपरेट सूट करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज द कोर्ट एग्जीक्यूटिंग द डिग्री इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 249 वेयर अ जजमेंट डेटर डाइज बिफोर द डिग्री हैज बीन फुली सेटिस्फाइड द सेम अमाउंट कैन नॉट बी एग्जीक्यूटेड अगेंस्ट द लीगल रिप्रेजेंटेटिव द सेम कैन बी एग्जीक्यूटेड अगेंस्ट एनी वन ऑफ द लीगल रिप्रेजेंटेटिव द जजमेंट डेटर इन इट्स एंटायरिटी द सेम कैन बी एग्जीक्यूटेड अगेंस्ट ऑल द लीगल रिप्रेजेंटेटिव द सेम कैन बी एग्जीक्यूटेड अगेंस्ट एनी नंबर ऑफ द लीगल रिप्रेजेंटेटिव एज अ डिग्री होल्डर वांट्स इन क्वेश्चन नंबर 249 करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी द सेम कैन बी एग्जीक्यूटेड अगेंस्ट ऑल द लीगल रिप्रेजेंटेटिव क्वेश्चन नंबर टू टू वॉट एक्सटेंट अ लीगल रिप्रेजेंटेटिव शेल बी लाइबल इफ डिग्री इज एग्जीक्यूटेड अगेंस्ट हिम here option c is the right answer only that property of the deceased shall be liable which has come to his hands and has not been duly disposed of option c here is the right answer